Smell is a potent wizard. According to Helen Keller. Smell is potent wizard, according to Helen Keller. Who knew? So, smell is a potent witch? Is that what they're saying? It's a wizard and a witch. Who knew? It just sniffs. It sniffs it out. It's a sniffle. A pungent blend of onions, cheese, and cat urine with hints of, is that wet goat? Most of us don't need more than one. Is that wet goat? Why? Of course, because everyone knows what wet goat smells like. Just imagine farm animal this and this, right? And you're like, oh, yucky. Or you're like, no, yeah, I lived on a goat farm relentlessly and I know exactly what it is. And I love it. <laughs> so what's going on? Of course, they had to blast you with the goat. 17 seconds in. Who knew? One whiff to identify that generally unpleasant characteristic smell we call body odor. Body but it's a odor. surprisingly complex phenomenon. Right? And there's flies, fl just, you know, just flies. Just, and they had to introduce it with, apparently it's just a green bash that's just filled with cheese, cat, and milk, and wet goat, apparently. Wow, who knew? Who knew there'd be tiny little things just crawling everywhere? And you're like, no, get away from me and my body. My body's not filled with little teeny tiny things that somehow do everything for me and just, uh, I get to bash, abuse my body. No, 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 no. I mean, it's just, the body's a machine. Okay. So the machine's odor. So the machine apparently has an odor. Hmm. On, influenced by our genetic makeup, age, diet, and hygiene. Wow, so blast right away. There's the bash green cobra rising as the guy's playing his. But they have a little music instead. And this one, oh, right, the double bash rising cobras, right? And the bash plus just eating a disgusting cake. Look at it. It's not, it doesn't even look good. I mean, come on. This guy. He put a lot of effort into it, but look, the cake is just melting. It's just melting, and what is this? Diet, healthy foods. What is that? Potato chips and cheese? Oh, and broccoli and an apple. Yes, sir. And just hygiene. Just keep yourself bash amazing. Right? Buy all these relentless things that foam up, and then you just put on your body and just wash off. Who knew? So right away, blasting you, it's just about the bash DNA plus a combination of what you eat and then how you take care of your body, guys. What is going on? So you're split into one, two, three, four. Already in 30 seconds in, who knew? But to you, it's fine because you're already blasted into a thousand points of light. So what's four more? So what is this odor exactly? Where does it come from, and can we do anything about it? To start, you just need two things to produce that familiar scent. Your armpits' own secretions and the bacteria that feed on them. Most people associate body odor with sweat, and it's an important piece of the puzzle. Your body has millions of sweat glands. And oh, look. Well, it's just so amazing. It's a cartoon with a bash thing. With little holes in them, but you're like, no, that's exactly what it does, man. Of course, who knew? Who knew the body does relentless things that you can't even comprehend? And just because you call it the cycle this, the barrier that, the protein synthesis that, the nuclear bash, the cell communication means nothing, right? It all means nothing. Because surely you have no bash idea what's going on! You don't even know what the body is doing and how it knows what to do exactly when and where for what. And then you're like, wow, it's just malfunctioning. 
That's why we get sick and we get autoimmune diseases and relentlessly just smashing. So our DNA, right? This little guy, number one in the split ways of four is to be blamed. It's to be blamed. Just blame that boss little two-headed cobra and say, it's your fault, two-headed cobra. Why didn't you line up and expand and relax and let the good genes be bash replicated? Instead, you contracted and bash made me sick. And all this bash notions, right? What is going on? You're just, you've become a slinky. You think you're the slinky that rap, bash, opens and closes, and now you're just, wow, unfolding and refolding. Wow. And then you're here and not there because you're quantum and you're just light. You're just light. You're a light being and you're infinite consciousness, right? What does that even mean? You don't even know. But somehow your body is sweating. Ew, yucky. And they come in two major types. Eccrine glands are found all over your skin and secrete mainly water and salt. Whoa, Apocrine glands on you the other You see all those little hand. tunnels? Wow, did you see all those little, whoa, whoa, look. There's a bash that goes in and it's just bash connected to, to some other cloud and another cloud and it's just connected to some other bash branch and it's reaching relentlessly and it just curves and points up. It turns into a massive bash tall thing that just smashes and passes electrical energy and this and that. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course. And you say, yes, absolutely. Yes. Uh, but science is amazing. Isn't science amazing? Wow, of course. Wow, who knew? Right. Just blasted. Right? Just blasted. Right? Because it's... It, you know what it is. You know what this is. You know what this is, but you say, yeah, science is amazing. Exactly. So you bend the knee to that worship. The worship of names. And relentless cycles and relentless bash, you know, uh, assumptions upon assumptions, and all because you pr can prove it with reproducing some experiment based on those bash same assumptions and those same bash controls, and saying the same type of bash thing and the same type of thing over and over again, and then you're like, wow. So we need certainty to study the certainty, but then say, wait a minute, we're just so uncertain. We have no clue. We have no clue and no clue and we will never have a clue. So everybody gets a piece of the pie. All right. We just got to distribute the pie according to our laws and rules and this and this. And those who have pie get more pie. And those who have not pie, we're just going to bash take everything from them. So what is going on? Just hypocrisy. Just a crime system. Right? And the endocrine and the bash exocrine. What, what is going on? What is going on? Endocrine. Exocrine. Get it out. Push it in. Distribute it. Last time, just redistribute, put in and put out. Diffuse in and out. But no, we're just doing it because well, there's no I, there's no clue. It's just bash just was a huge oxer that just bash just did that. It was bashed and bashed and bashed and just did it and just did it forever, relentlessly. Hmm. What is going on? Develop at puberty Look. in your armpits and a few other places on your body. What is that? What is that? And you're like, oh, it's called a this, this cell. It's called a this, this tissue. It's called a that cross section. It's called this. Or the, and you're like, oh, isn't science amazing? What is going on? What is this? Look. Look, what is it? And you're like, oh, it's called a bash hair, you bash. Don't you know what a hair is, you bash? It's just little protein just pumped out from a base of something that's, the, and don't, you know, it's your skin. And then your skin is divided into other strata of layers and bash things that if you carve deeper, they get older. <laughs> no. It's the deeper layers that are fla the, the flesh that is alive. It's the outer shells that are the bash old skin that dies, right? But to you, when you go and dig in the ground, you're like, whoa, the deeper, the older. Who knew? So you're deepening into the dead, right? You're deepening into the dust, right? That's there. And apparently, the deeper you got, the older it is. Whoa, who knew? Who knew? Right? And you're like, no, no, no. This skin is so different. Whoa, who knew? So the skin's, right? And you say, it's because it's alive and the bash earth is dead. Hmm. 
I thought you loved Gaia because it's alive. And you're like, no, 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 wait, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. There's a thing called biological life and plant animals and this, 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 this and that's called life. You bastard, you know? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is life? And you're like, uh, I just said it. And you're like, mm, I don't know. What is it? Surely everyone sees something. Certainly everyone that's uh around you and, and your neighbor and your best friend and this, this, this. Uh, they're all in it who knew we're in it we're here we're all alive who knew and you're like yeah that's amazing it's an experience and who knew that's why i yolo 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 just to my next lap lifetime and this and i'm just growing relentlessly and just compassion 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 loving 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 positivity 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 and yolo what does that even mean who knows but it's just relentless amazing the sweat they secrete is full of proteins and fats. By themselves, these secretions are usually odorless. Look, That's where it's like a spring of water coming out, right? It's a spring of water coming out, people. It's a stream of water coming out from the bash. And you're like, no, 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 bash. It's, it's just a serum because it's part of the body and it's just to bash and it's called sweat. Okay, proteins and fats. That's called the sebaceous fluids, right? It's sebaceous fluid, and now it's just all over you. So get it off. Get it off of you. You stink. Oh, disgusting, right? What is this? What is this? Who knows? But it's just bashing stuff outside. Where bacteria come in. Every square centimeter of our bodies is covered with thousands of bacteria. Oh, Many no. microorganisms thrive in moist environments, like our armpits. They you mean your theory of Bash, you know, how the wa life came from the old waters to the land, right? Of course, this is the recreate, this is the rehash Bash, right? So it's now, it's now, we came from the swamp slime, and now you have swamp slime on you, eating off of you. It said, no, you can't get away from me alive. I will relentlessly eat off of you once you make it onto the land. Oh, what a shame. What is bacteria? You don't know, but they're little tiny, tiny things that somehow dash, bash, and bash, and smash, and smash, and, uh, and they eat your... They eat your sweat, apparently. They need it It's since it's moist, and then they feed off of it. There, you can find about a million bacteria per square centimeter, oh, no. one of the highest concentrations anywhere on the skin. Look, this guy's having a Lurking great time. in this throng of microorganisms oh. are species of corny bacteria, corny. staphylococci. Staphylococci. Oh. Staff. Just and relentless staff. <laughs> There's staff everywhere. There's so many jobs. Guys, you want to be staff? All right, let's come to come step into my office. Step into my office with Mr. Purple Head, round face, and his two little companions that somehow didn't make it to three because these two are connected, but that bash one in the back, who knows? It just looks like it's alone. It's just the third wheel. But this guy knows it because he's Mr. Cucumber. You will be somebody. Right? That's him. Look, because he, he's smiling so hard because he knows he is somebody. He made it. He's he's staff number one. He's staff of the year. He's gained so much membership. Everyone's staff now. There's so many positions available. Who knew? Others. When these bacteria feed on the proteins and fats in apocrine sweat, they turn the odorless compounds into new ones that can smell very unpleasant. Oh, right? So guys, you're so this guy's telling you, it's not your it's not your secretions that are stinky. It's it's the bacteria that feed off your secretions that make the stink. Hmm. 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 And you're like, exactly, we need, that's why our poop is stinky. Because it just ferments and digests, and then the body just takes it all up. It's a symbiotic bash thing, a mutualism, that, I mean, as long as it's in harmony. And you have the good flora and not the bad flora. 
because you want the good staff to be employed and not the bash one that will make you sick. Oh. So what's going on? I don't know, but we need a, we need more jobs. So many staff are being laid off and just canned, fired for no reason. And then so we need more bash jobs so we can have a big stink over it. So what is going on? What is going on? And somehow you're like, no, 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 no. Wait, it's just life, everyone. Everybody feeds off each other, and then we just make a big stink. Look, the little bacteria is telling us. So we must follow accordingly and just be, be like the bacteria. Don't worry, guys. We got you, bud. We're just going to follow nature relentlessly and do what it does because we don't know better. We're just some bash half ape cooked up mouse that dreamt so hard of being a chicken, and one day it did. <laughs> it did, guys. It did because his parents wanted it to become a chicken so hard that eventually it just became a chicken. <clears throat> because epigenetics, they knew how to work their epigenetics and they were smashing their epigenetics relentlessly. And they were saying, guys, let's just shape shift into something stinky. Well, who knew? And you're like, no, 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 bud. Bud? You're you're just taking it too far. But that's where I we have these. To cover it all up. Just cover it all up. Just cover it up. Just cover it up. Just cover it up. You smell like a bash dirty wet goat, apparently, like that guy said. Well, of course, right? You smell like a bash wet horse. And you're like, I love the w smell of wet horse. Leave him alone. He's playing polo. Charlie loves playing polo. Oh, and the rider does too. A rhyme is smashed, right? Our money. And you're like, no, guys, it just smells amazing, right? Because who knew it's smashing you? It's alluring you. It's triggering, it's triggering you to something. It's an, evo an evocation. And you're like, no, 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 it's just a chemical bud. Shut up. You don't know anything. Hmm. So the alchemists that are bash cooking it up just know nothing, right? They're just bash idiots, right? And you're like, yeah, it's just a bunch of people that doesn't sell a stupid little fragrance and then they make millions. Oh, how sad. I want to be one. I want to be one like them. Yeah, because you worship it. You know why? Because it's a bash potion. It's a formula. A formula of a formula alchemicizing you into bashhood. All because eh, you're just too stinky. Some of the worst offenders may be sulfur-containing chemicals. Those give body odor its oniony aroma. Carboxylic acids are in the mix too, adding notes of cheese. These molecules waft up from the armpit and can be sucked directly into our noses, where well, they're trapped and detected by an array of specialized receptors. Those Right, so you can smell it, and you produce it somehow. No, you don't produce it, it's just the eating of what you produced that you smell. So you're eating the production, amazing eating the production. You're sniffing it. Hmm. Those can recognize odor molecules at concentrations of less than one in a million. Well, who knew? So what determines how strong your body odor might be? It depends on the resident microbial populations in your armpit and the nutrients that your glands provide them with. Your genes help determine what compounds you produce. Oh, and in so what your genes, you know, the double-headed cobra determines. It just determines. It determines everything. Don't worry, bud. You're also your astrology sign. Don't worry, you're also that. Because it's combined. It's the true science. It's the comprehensive one. Didn't you know? You have to get it all. Get all the, collect them all. Collect them all. Quantity. So everyone has a slightly different set. In fact, a gene variant that virtually eliminates body odor is common in people of East Asian descent. East Asian. Adrenaline. In 
So it eliminates, they don't stink. They're not stinky. Whoa, who knew? Increases the ratio of apocrine to eccrine sweat. So body odor can be more intense when you're nervous. Bacterial composition and concentration also vary. So people that are nervous, nah, you're probably gonna stink more. Is between individuals and plays a part. Even what you eat can have a small effect on how you smell. Small. So how can we deal with body odor? Washing the armpits with soap and water <laughs> helps, but won't remove all the- Guys, this is an educational film, don't worry. They're telling you, they're teaching you, don't worry. Bacteria, since many are buried in deeper layers of the skin. So you have to exfoliate. Deodorants, however, inhibit bacterial activity and mask odors at the same time. Oh, so they kill it and then they just mask the destruction. They kill it and then they just make it smell. It's like Bosch putting roses over Bosch bodies. Don't worry, don't worry. Antiperspirants work by forming tiny gel plugs that block sweat glands, oh. drying out the armpits. Drawing While we out. continue to battle body odor. Right, and look at the dragon just Bosch eating you. Scientists are trying to understand it. We don't know why the brain often interprets these particular odors as off-putting. But some researchers have proposed that secretions from the armpit could have a positive function too, like cementing social bonds and providing a means of chemical... Oh, so the, the green cloud disappeared and now they're just like, wow, I like your stink. Come on, come on closer. What is going on? Right, is he talking about pheromones? Of course he is. Bonding hormones and this and this. And you can smell them, even though you, you you don't really have a smell. You can just you just breathe them in, and then you're just in, you're just smashed. Don't worry, bud. Don't worry. Goal communication. We don't know yet if that's the case. For now, body odor seems to be just another smelly part of the human condition. Oh, just smelly. Meaning, like, well, we don't really know what it is. Who knew? That's this whole. Video, four, four minutes? Well, it didn't say a thing. It just showed you how amazing the body does what it does, right? But, but and, and then you're like, exactly, that's why I worship the body. No. What are you doing worshiping the body? What are you doing? Sense. What is it? Five senses. Wiki. Sense. Wiki. Right? Five senses. Whoa. The five major senses is most animals sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. Hmm. Who knew? What is going on? Sense. The physical process during which sensory systems respond to stimuli and provide data for perception is called sensation. During sensation, sense organs engage in stimulus collection and transduction. Sensation is often differentiated from the related and dependent concept of perception, which processes and integrates sensory information in order to give meaning to and understanding detected stimuli. Oh, so it, all, it does all that. So you say, well, it's just all the subconscious mind. It's all doing it. Don't worry, guys. You, 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 you're not aware of it, but it, your brain is still in charge. Don't worry. Your brain is doing it all. Don't worry, bud. You're under control. And you're like, yeah, because it's science. You know, we probed, up, we probed the brain and just bash killed it, and then the body stops doing certain things. Hmm. Hmm. So you're smashing the hamburger meat, and then it does things. Hmm. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? But the whole time, what quickeneth the body? What is it that actually transmits whatever these things are transmitting? What even allows for that to even happen? And you're like, oh, it doesn't need allowance. It's just, it just does it. It just doesn't even care. It just, just, it just doesn't even know. It doesn't even know that it's doing it. It's just smashing. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Amazing, right? And that's why you worship. And that's why I say it, because truly it's Bashwood. So you think you have five senses, but you're Bash lost somewhere. 
even with all the senses what that you call senses and but you're still crying in a bathroom in the dark and you say no right what is going on suffering for yourself because you're ashamed of your body and this and this and you're ashamed of whoa, this and that 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 ashamed of what no we are in darkness we we are just blind we're in darkness but we boast that we're in the light An organism's a sensory organ consists of a group related sensory cells. Oh, they couldn't wait. Just sensory cells. They just divide it into the little bash circles. They're just like circuit circuits, people. Don't worry. They're just like little circuits. Just like little circuits. And they're put together just amazingly. And they're connected to some other bash. And it's just called the central nervous system. Don't worry about it because it's all sensory ganglion. They're just gang and bang. They're gang banging together, and it's just a good time. Don't worry. They're getting along in the ganglion. We know, right? This, 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 and the via cranial and spinal nerves. Wow, and you're like, yeah, synchronism. Wow, just cross set the brain, and it'll all be okay because it, I can see the eye of Horus in it. Wow, what is going on? That is Satan calling you. C U L L I N G. For the Father is calling you. C A L L I N G. Who knew? But no, uh, you'd rather go with the bash. Oh, my sensory organ? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rub it, rub it. Just rub it a lot. Mostly. Yeah, it's here. Why would I have it if it, I'm not meant to rub it? Huh? Answer me that. Riddle me this. Riddle me this. Why do I have it? If I just can't rub it relentlessly and overdrive it. Just go overdrive it. Because it just blasts me into the oblivion. Where I can swim backstrokes with baby babies of light and just bash receive relentless information that I encode and, and then transduce to s I, I just multi-modulate it into the psychophysics of neurobiology because I'm so cognitive in my physiology and my cognitive is science. Don't worry, guys. We're in good hands. Humans have a multitude of sensory systems. Who knew? Just relentless fractals. Just relentless fractals of systems. Who knew? Sensory. They're all just feeling for you. Uh, they feel for you, bud. Don't worry. If nobody cares about you in life, don't worry. Your sensory system makes you know it cares for you because it tells you what you feel, apparently. You're like, no, 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 those are different things. You know, you have senses and then feelings. Okay, keep them separate. Wow. Human external sensation is based on sensory organs of the eyes, ears, skin, inner ear, nose, and mouth. All right, children, let's sing it together. Now, Katie, this time you sing along with the rest of the kids. Don't make me make you. The corresponding sensory systems of the visual system, sense of vision, auditory system, sense of hearing, soma, right? Somatosa, <laughs> sense of touch. And vestibular system, sense of balance. Wow. Olfactory system, sense of smell. Gustatory system, sense of taste. Contribute respectively. To their perceptions of vision, hearing, touch, spatial orientation, smell, taste, and the sequel. Who knew? And you're like, yeah, I love all these things. I love them. I just couldn't. I just couldn't live without them. Who knew? Who knew? What are these things? And you're like, mm, they we they're half the half ape just. The first cell already knew it. Guys, don't worry. The first cell already knew it all. It knew it all. It had it all. It had had a vision, right? Because it could hear. And it could touch things. And then it said, yes. I will go this and here. And put that there and there and that. And then it just smelled so good. That he had to taste it. What is going on? Right? Deceived. Abusers of the flesh, misleaders of the truth. For 
we apparently love our lie. We love our lie. A large number of internal sensory and perceptual systems exist in humans, including proprioception, body position, whoa, and necessitation, necessitation, pain, nociception, who knew pain, you can feel it, no, but it's physical and emotional. Further internal chemoreception and osmoreception based sensory systems lead to various perceptions. So all of them combined, and then some of them are selective, and some of them touch this one and that one. Synesthesia, everyone. Synesthesia, man. So we just fuse it, and just a thousand points of light. And you're like, yeah, exactly. Expansive consciousness, man, didn't you know? What, what, what is consciousness? You're like, oh, who knows? It's just expansive. It's the bash, just the cloud. It's the cloud, man. It's a cloud of just everything and everything. It just never is and never was. And it just somehow popped in. And it's going to pop out. Don't worry about it. Further internal uh, chemo receptors and this is this is this. Hunger, thirst, suffocation, nausea, involuntary behavior such as vomiting. So who knew the body just does all these things? Who knew? But somehow it's just flawed. Guys, your body's just f so flawed. Just full of holes. The double-headed cobra is just giving you diseases because apparently it just doesn't know. It just doesn't know. It just doesn't know. It never knew. And somehow it's a miracle that you're alive. It, but you... No, you're, you're like, no, 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 no. No, but it's not a miracle. It's just luck. It's just luck because somehow we had a bigger brain and a smaller brain, but somehow we just killed uh, the rest of them off. And some maybe it was a tough break because maybe it was just just luck. You know, it was the right time, right place, and the other ones died and we didn't. And so, eh, guys, we, it's just, you know, it could be that, it could be this, what, who knows, but it's just a relentless, perpetuating story. That doesn't even make sense. But somehow your senses tell you something and you are misleading your senses. To go wherever you tell it to go because you're tamed. You're broken. You're a broken horse just saddling up, drying yourself, going wherever you bash think you're steering yourself to go. Okay? But truly, really you're bash connected. You're the merry-go-round horse that's not going anywhere. You're just in a bash circle. Going around and popping up and down and bashing. Oh, the lights. Oh, the DMT. Whoa. This and that and this and that. Whoa. Just give me bash more light. F just fragment my brain into splashes even harder so that I can see the, how my reflection looks from the other perspective of that bash perpendicular angle that just somehow just I didn't know existed. I never seen myself from that angle. Wow, who knew? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Human sense, humor external sensation is based on the, well, of course. Negation. Negation of what it, life is actually s telling you every day. You're like, yeah, man, I know it's the crystals. Yeah, I know. It's all electric, guys. I knew it first. I knew at first that it was electric and magnetic, and it's all moisture, guys. Didn't you know it's all water? Be the water, man. Be the water. And just be polarized because it's all duality, man. It's the yin and the yang forever, man. Who knew? Deceived. Deceived alternative systems, right? Because you believe in this. You perceive through alternative systems, right? Because you, d d you, you, you prefer the alternative than the way. Who knew? Because it's become such an echolocation, echolocation right? You bash, you're bashing and you can hear yourself smashing and then you go closer to where the smashing is taking place. But, oh, guess what? Guess what? You're the center of it. You can't go anywhere because it's you that's bash, bashing, smashing, and then you're m walking somewhere you want to find it, but it, no, it's you. And you're like, yeah, that's why I found myself, and I love myself relentlessly. With what love? The love that you were searching for, and then somehow you found it in you? No. You were looking for it to begin with because you sought yourself void of it, and therefore you went looking, and now you think you found it in you, but somehow, no. 
deceived by Satan. Recently, as this says right here, recently, it has been suggested that plants and artificial agents may be able to detect and interpret environmental information in an unal an it's just analog, in an analogous. It's just too. Uh, it's too difficult to say this word. An an analogous, an analogous, an analogous. Who knew? Manner to animals. So, guys, every everything can perceive. It feels everything is sentient. It's sentient, 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 sentient. Right, sentience from what? From where? What's it for? And you're like, oh, it's for, it's whatever you want. Hmm, amazing. So do as I will. Who cares? Just YOLO. Because look at all the senses, guys. Whoa. Whoa. Look at them. Collect them all. And definitely know how to manipulate them. Because you guys did. You just stink. You just stink. So guys, it's just a soup of just some bash defiled soup that's just left in the sun and then brought in the shade. And put in the sun in the shade, and sun shade, sun shade, and eventually it's just hot by itself. And then there. It eats. It eats. It eats, it eats, and eats itself, and then it's just stinky. And apparently that's you. So, cover it up. Just wash it on, on, uh, under your armpits and spray that bash deodorant on to just suffocate your pores, and don't worry. And the other bash is like, yeah, that's why I never wear deodorant, and I just let it all hang out. And sm smell and stink, and I don't care. I'll shove it in people's faces because they deserve it. My body, my choice, and this and this. What's going? What's going on? No. Sp because people apparently just forgot, right? How to? What is it to care? You don't know, but certainly you don't care about yourself. So it's okay. You can do whatever you want. There's there, there's no sense in, you know. There's no such thing, right? Bathing is a lie. Just stay dirty, everyone. And you're like, no, but then if you stay dirty, then you start getting a rash and it's itchy everywhere and this and that. You're like, no, it's nothing. You just have to lick your body clean. That's how you do it. Just lick everyone. Lick yourselves clean like cats. Oh, what a shame. Lost. Five senses. Right? Because what is sight? What is sight? Hmm. What is this v difference between vision and sight? Sight is the physical. Vision is mental. Hmm. So what you see is something, but then your mind interprets it somehow, right? Mm. Because all you sight is just an inverted light that bash hits your bash lens and just refracts inside and goes to all the bash cones and bash tails like that. So bash is not bad. Rods. And they're getting rotted relentlessly, and then somehow it's bashed through the bash nerve, and it goes, right? The nerve. The nerve just transmitted. It. It's electrical beams and zeros and one. No. Shame. The eye. The eye. Hmm. What is the eye? And you're like, well, I don't know, but it, I worship the eye because I am the greatest. No. And and you, th you, th you say, I'm Thor, and I'm Venus and on this and that. No. What is going on? What is going on? Vision, sight. They put you. They split you. Sight is bound by time and distance. Vision is only bound by the imagination. Right, because somebody who doesn't have sight has vision. Apparently, yes. Of course they do. Of course. So, what are people? What what is the vision that we have in our minds relentlessly? Is is it false or is it based in life, in truth, because of the way? There is a way. It just didn't all bash, stumble against each other, and just bash make something so amazing. That even leaves us saying, wow, it's still a mystery, right? To the bash, but got believer in the light. But not to those who know that they were created and aren't just some bash accident that needs to find itself. No, we are lost. And God is calling out relentlessly. And our heart knows it. 
which is why we either embrace the works of Jesus Christ or reject it because we hate it. For it speaks contrary to what we think is just. But when in fact we actually don't even know what the word of God is. We don't even know because we've never read it with a humble heart. So everything that people preach about tolerance and, you know, oh, just compassion, right, goes out the window when people talk about the Word of God. Because everything that people are, are so desperately wishing to happen is never going to happen in the sense of pushing with effort the change of man. No. It's already been done. Jesus Christ lived, died, resurrected, defeated death. In him was was all paid for. All the sins of the world he took on and defeated. He he, he defeated them, defeated death. Satan you know, in prison for a thousand years. Who knew? Satan in the bottomless pit, right? Chained. Who knew? But to the cowardly and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and sexual immoral and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars, their place will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur. This is the second death. Who knew? Who knew? No, guys, but I, no, 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 it's all good because nobody knows what happens when you die. Nobody's ever lived to tell us. Because the only Son of God, perfect, He is the image of God, Christ Jesus. As a man walking with other men, defeated all these bash things. The lusts of the flesh, the temptations of Satan, through deception, rebellion, doubt in our Creator. The Father and the Son, and therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus and th sought to slay him because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. He had just performed, uh, you know, a, mir a miracle which had made him whole, right? This guy over here made him whole. And then the Jews were um, accusing him. They wanted to slay him because he worked on the Sabbath. He did it on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My father worketh hitherto, and I work. Therefore the Jews sought to more kill him because he not only had broken the Sabbath but said also that God was his Father. Amen. Making himself equal to God. Because Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible God, he is the image, who knew, of God. The Spirit of God, the invisible God who knew the Father. Then answered Jesus and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he do doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. Who knew? For the Father loveth the Son. Yes, he does. And showeth him all things that himself doeth. Who knew? Who knew that that is the... Uh, the unconditional love of the Father that guides and instructs. 
who knew because he loves them. And so he shows them all the things that he himself do it. What would exactly? And you look around today and all fathers fall short because exactly Jesus Christ fulfilled the law. For all men have fallen short. No man can save himself but through Jesus Christ. He is the truth, the way, and the life. Who knew? Who knew? For as a father raises up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the son quickeneth whom he will. For the father judges no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the son, that all men should honor the son, even as they honor the father. He that honoreth not the son honoreth not the father which hath sent him. Um, this is, of course, of course, this is wisdom. But no, to you, it's just, eh, it's just a fairy tale, guys. It's just an archetype of archetypes and archetypes of archetypes. We're all meant to do, you know, we're all gods, guys. We're just meant to just, you know, this guy was talking about nice things, but we know better. We know better. Wow, deceived. And he show. And he will show him greater works than these that ye may marvel. Who knew? But instead you marvel at yourself and your stumbling and your failure and then your success, apparently, because somehow you're, you, are, you, you did it all by yourself. But somehow you still... <sighs> and, you, and you say, well, I'm, I just, I'm a passionate person. I need to you know, go, go relentlessly get smash and friction from all everyone. Wow. Or I'm a good person, but I'm in fear relentlessly. Hmm. Fear of what? For why? 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 If you believe in the do as thou wilt, why are you in fear then? And you're like, well, uh, I'm not then. I don't fear death. Yes, you do. People that say that they don't fear death, they absolutely fear death. Who knew? And those who say that they admit that they do it, well, they, they are admitting it. They're being honest. Because f fear is the way of the game in the sense of fear of the world, fear of death, anything but fear of the Father. Fear of the Father, meaning you know what the Father is. The Creator. And you creation and that's why we are made from the dust Jesus Christ from heaven who knew I bear witness of myself my witness is if I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that beareth witness it of me. And I know that the witness which he witnesseth of me is true. Right? Because the Father is in him and he is in the Father. They're one and the same. Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible God. The only begotten Son of God. Ye sent unto John, and he bare witness unto the truth. But I received not testimony from man, but these things I say that ye might be saved. Exactly. He's telling them. He was burning and sh shining light, and ye were willing for season to rejoice in his light. But I have greater witness that of John. For the works which the Father hath given me to finish the same works that I do bear witness of me that the Father hath sent me. And the Father himself, which hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his in shape. And ye have not his word abiding in you, for whom he hath sent him ye believe not. Search the scripture, for 
in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. Of course, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. And ye will not come to me that ye might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you, that ye have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. How can ye believe which receive honor one of another? How can ye believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? Exactly. Everybody's looking for bash false love from the other. Some bash false respect from the other. Some bash false honor from the other. From one another who knew. Right? Instead of Seeking the um, the only honor that cometh from God. The honor to God. What is it that we honor? What do we worship? Exactly. Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me. For he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? Exactly. The word of God. How is it that people come to reject it? Because they love the darkness instead of the light. All the while they say they worship the light, but how bright that darkness is. Ye seek me, but not because ye see the miracles, but because ye did eat of loaves. Labor not for the meat which perishes, but the meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God and the Father sealed. Then said they unto him, What shall we do? What might work the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him who hath sent, who he hath sent. They said therefore unto him, What's the sign showest thou then that we may see and believe thee? What doest thou work? What dost thou work? Our fathers did eat manna of the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from to eat from heaven. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is which cometh down from heaven and give life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you, that ye also have seen me, and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the day, at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up the last day. And exactly, because what is it to believe? Right? As a father has is, is teaching, what does the son do? Rebel instantly? No. The father teaches and the son is takes on. Is show is showed by the father, everything that the father knows. And Jesus Christ, 
knew the word of the Father is the word of the Father. Fulfilleth the law. And spoke to men on what it is to live with God forever. That's what Jesus spoke. How to live with certainty of the truth, the way, and the life. Who knew? How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Who is eaten of my flesh and drinketh my blood hath, hath eternal life. And I will raise him up on the last day, for my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him, as the living Father hath sent me, and now I live by the Father. So that eat, that eateth me even shall live by me. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. These things, uh, blah, blah, so they oh, like, no, what? We have to eat his food. What? Wait, what? Exactly. Many, therefore, of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, this is hard saying. How can we hear it? When Jesus knew himself that this disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, doth this offend you? What? And if shall ye see the Son of Man ascend up where he had was before. What and if ye s shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before, what will you say? It is the Spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. Exactly. He's telling you right here. It is the Spirit that quickeneth. That makes all w growth. Right? That does all, what is it? The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Exactly. So what are people feeding on? Hmm. What are we, what are we feeding but and you're like, well, exactly the the bad wolf and the good wolf, and I'm feeding like my good wolf. No, lost, deceived. You're using the force, meaning Satan's mind, to somehow fulfill your life in the flesh, but that's futile. That's a dead end. For life is in Christ. Who knew? Let the dead bury their dead. And suffer and die. In their fear of confusion, in their fear and their resentment of their doubt. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my Father. Exactly. And no one comes to the Father but by Him, Christ. Who knew? Who knew? Because He was there and He was speaking to those people and yet they, they doubted Him, right? So He knew it, God is the beginning and the end. He knew who who would betray him relentlessly throughout. And he spoke with certainty to those who would repent and follow him in his word and what he showeth and revealed to man through his works and through the words he gave of his spirit to filleth a man And still, there's life in Christ. To rise in life with Christ. Instead of perishing 
with Satan. No condemnation in Christ. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh and of sin condemned sin in the flesh. Who knew? telling you right there that this that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit for to be carnally minded is death For to be carnally minded is death. Carnally minded? Yes, Satan's. Satan's promise, illusory promise. That goes along with his rebellious mind. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Spiritually minded. Who knew the relation with our Creator? Not meanders with what you call spirits and, oh, the ether and the past astral planes of nebulas. No. There's only one true living God. Who knew? Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. Who knew? For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. The carnal mind The isolated, right? Self-defines. Rebel rebellion. Of knowing that you, d you disobeyed. And then the relentless excuses that you create. To keep doing what you want to do. Because you can. And justifying it. But no. There is justice. And that cometh only from one. Who knew? Not by Satan. But by the true holy God. King of King, Lord of Lords. Who knew? But ye are not in the flesh. But in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him that raises up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his Spirit that dwelleth in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. Who knew? For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. 
the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Exactly. So God in Christ was the witness of Christ and the witnessing of God. The image of God witnessing the image that he created. Who knew? As a mortal man. It, it tells you, right? It, it, he defeated, he revealeth to man that by doing it, he showed them how. He said, look, look. He was speaking to them and he spoke to them. And that transformed them because they they were quickened they were opened to the re revealing the revelation of God himself to man and people denied him who knew and all this talks about it and it talks about w w everything 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 you could ever come to cry out and you say you don't understand everything everything you say think you say you know and this and that everything it's all in this in the word of god but you will reject it because god knows who will reject him and who will repent and come draw near Feed off the word of God, meaning eat of his of his bread. He is the bread. He is he is the body. But no, there's nothing for the flesh to gain, but only that which quickeneth. The salvation of it all, the resolve of it all. And the eternity of it all. The sins of the flesh, but those who are full of fear and without faith, the unclean and takers of life, those who do the sins of the flesh and those who make evil powers. Right? This is the one I was just read. Of course, loading, and it's, it will just relentlessly stop. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but the husband. Likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own, but the wife. unity in the body from him the whole body is fitted and held together by every supporting ligament and as each individual part does its work the body grows and builds itself up in love so i tell you this and insist on it the lord that you must no longer walk as gentiles do in the futility of their thinking
I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all loneliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in bond of peace. In the bond of peace, there is one body and one Spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascends, ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above the heavens that he might fill at all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some ev evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about every wind of doctrine by the sight of men, of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to, to deceive, but speaking the truth in love may grow up in him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the body fitly jointed together and compacted by that every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of every part maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind having the understanding dark being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lavishness to work all uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is is in Jesus that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that ye put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness wherefore putting away lying speak every man truth with his neighbor for we are members one of another be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more. But rather let him labor. Work in his hands the thing which is good that he may have to give to him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice, and be ye kind to one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God of Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Who knew? And you say, No, 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 no. We can achieve this without some fantasy. 
we can achieve this without some fire fantasy character that just possibly lived and just was a nice fellow that said things. No. You are deceived. Christ Jesus is the truth, the way, the life. The revealing of it all to man. He fulfilleth his promise. And now Satan loosed again, deceiving the nations. For one last get go, yet the opportunity still exists. Right? Because the word of God is eternal. So wh what what are we siding with? Meaning, what are we truly seeing? Because our hearts are what perceives. And we're the ones that bash, that tell her what we see and give it a vision. Make it some vision, some perception. Right? Based on this and this. But somehow it's just a mystery, but we have it and we relentlessly abuse it. And just try to cover it up because, no, 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 it's just stinky. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Get it away, get it away. Make me smell good. Because... Well, I'm just old and I don't know, I stink more and this and this. But no, it's because you're in the darkness. I will darken the bright stars overhead and cover your land in darkness. I, Sovereign Lord, have spoken. Even the darkness is not too dark for you to see. The night as is as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. Psalms, the new. The people walking in darkness see a bright light. Light shines on those who live in a land of deep darkness. Who knew? These, and of course, these are parts of the Word of God. And everyone should read for themselves. Yet this is a sight for your eyes to capture and trigger something in your brains or I should say in your vision in what you think you see and what you think you know if your whole body is full of light and not darkness it will be as bright as a lamp shining on you who knew because once somebody is recognizes that they're wrong and then they admit that how can a man what chance does a man have if he thinks he's by himself none zero a man is just bashed but that's the world we live in where you are pitted against the other and told to be the best and s kill them if you have to but do it because your ancestors did it so you must do it exactly what a shame First, the natural body, and of course, w there is the spirit. The spiritual body, who knew? Man was created from the bash da dust, and then now we had the breath of life. Breathed into us, and we became a living soul. Who knew? So if we're in darkness, then we're in darkness. Do so do we think we're in the light and say, well, it's so bright. No. That's what a liar does. A perpetual liar because he loves a lie. So he deceives himself further. To a dismal land of long shadows and confusing where light is a bright as darkness. Hmm. Those who are hungry and to satisfy the needs of those are humble. Then your light will rise in the dark and your darkness will become as bright as Don't you realize the Lord's day of judgment will bring darkness, not light, 
gloomy blackness, not bright light. Hmm, exactly, because what is the, b the blackness? The consumption of that who thought that was alive when he was totally separate. Hmm. Thinking himself whole when he was completely, se he severed his l his life. He choked himself out. And then he was like, no, it's God's fault. No. Uncovering deep things out of the dark and making the deep shade bright, he discovereth deep things of darkness and bringeth up to light the shadow of. Right? So uncovering and bringing it, exposing it. Who knew? For ye were he heretofore darkness, but now light in the wor in the Lord. Walk then as children of light, for you were once darkness, but are now light. Exactly. If then light is within you, is darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? Who knew? For you were here, da -da, of course. And of course, check it out for yourself. You must. Because again, you you will say, "Well, what is what is the mind? What is the mind?" I don't know, but it's just I can f see things inside of it, and sometimes I can even smell things inside of it. And it's synesthesia. There's a no. God is not a man who lies or a son of man who changes his mind. God is not a man that should lie nor a human being that should change his mind. Who knew? It's only a man that shapeshifts and bash. Oh, let me do that. I'll do this. I'll do that. Right. No certainty in a man. Just a rubbernecker, just blah, 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 blah. No. You've been taught to be that. And guess what? Those who taught you didn't love you. Who knew? Who knew? And you think that the rebel, the rebel, the, the rebel is your um, idol. No. Satan's ways are your idol. And the rebel amass it, thinking he's the hero, but somehow standing up to another man and killing the other man because the rebels weren't getting what they wanted. So you just go out and kill another man. No. What a shame. Because what is this? What is this? Is this a decapitation? No, no, no. You're like, no, no, no. This is a great honor. The guy just kneels before this guy, and the guy just flash puts his knife to his neck. Amazing. Right? Ritual upon ritual. Ritual, ritual, ritual. This guy denies that there's a sword about to bash sway him because, like, oh, no, this is stri 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 strictly procedural. It's protocol. It's expected, and I will get a medal, and I will get to just kiss the ring. Yes. And I'm I'm advanced in so much esotericism that I just my brain is going to blow up because I just I'm thought I'm thought I know it all, and sometimes I forget, but I know it all. I know most of it, and I can just conjure up so many things, right? Because this guy is like, and if you betray me, I will destroy you, right? So just man killing another man. No, don't kill another man that can ju kill your body. Fear God, who can not only, right, what is it? Through him is it that all flesh turns to dust, does it not? It's his creation. 
but he also is the lifeline. And if you deny it, then that is destroyed as well. And that only and that is through God as well. And it's not a threat. It's a certainty. And this guy knows it. And he wants to put the fear of man onto him by saying, Guy, I trust you. So kneel before me. But remember. Remember who has the sword. Remember. Right? Because people think that, what, we're supposed to, con this guy, this is the little guy that should stand up to this guy and say, no. Right? And then he just bash dies. Well, who knew that pro professing that Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, and the life did get them killed by the Romans? They were persecuted and bashed. And it and, and the word of God speaks of that. Who knew? And then you say, no, 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 no. There's no such thing. Because we have, you know, supposed followers of Christ here today. We we have people that believe in Christ today and they're fine. They do marvelous work all around the world and NGOs, NGOs, charity status this, charity status that. And it's just so amazing. No. Exactly. Deceived. None of them are speaking of the truth, the way, and the life. How to overcome the true deceit that's happening all around you. How to stand with certainty. Because you know what it is that you are part of and what you have been exposed to, what you witnessed and how you know that it destroys and how you know how you came to trust the Lord. Because you could no longer trust in yourself, let, let alone another man. Who knew? And admit you were wrong, because ho of course you're wrong. If you led to break the trust that you even had thought existed, or somebody broke their trust or their promise, you're like, oh, my life is over. Nah. Exactly. Lost. Lost. All because we just seem to love all this more than we do God and his word of salvation, of redemption, of peace. of knowing through faith. Faith in the man that lived and died for the sins of the world. And in his life, people relentlessly were asking him for proof of who he said he was and uh, to make sure that, that, just show us and then we'll believe. So what makes people think that him, when he ascended into heaven and now he was no longer with them and then came down and came back and reigned with those who he promised he would come back for and reign with them for a thousand years. And now just because you say, well, I don't believe in the story. So therefore, how could I believe in him if I don't even believe the story? Exactly. That's your first problem. You are in denial. You still want to go out there and fail some more so you can say you're getting better somehow. Other you don't care if you get better. You're just going to do what you want and do it your way. Exactly. How bright is that darkness of yours? Because you admit to say that, admit that you're blind. You don't admit that you're blind. You say, no, I have full, I have six cents even. I see the ghost even. Hmm. Hmm. What mind is it that you are operating through? What vision is it that you are actually responding to? It is important for you to keep the, this fact in mind that the head of every man is Christ and the head of every woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Who knew? But you know the double-headed Kundalini is the counterfeit to all this.
and that calls it colors and different little energy s circles and wow who knew and you believe it because there are things of the world that would encourage you to believe in it because you say there's proof there's proof in the flesh so therefore i believe in the flesh that's it see you later bud i can see it i can sense it with all my senses and my senses sense and test sense and i can call it names and that's why i know what it is but wait what is the flesh well, i don't know who knows I just made up little tiny, tiny, tiny little things that appear and reappear, but not there. So who knows? It's all it, 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 it's it's a product of a simulation. No, what a shame. It is an unhappy business that God has given to the children of man to be. Da, da, da. And I set my mind to, to seek and explore by wisdom concerning all that has been. Turning around and seeing his disciples, he re re rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are not setting your mind on God's interests, but man's. Exactly. It is important that every man is Christ, uh, that the head of every man is Christ. Exactly. O oh God, be the judge of your cause. Keep in mind the bitter things which the man of evil behavior says against you every day. For if there is a ready mind, a man will have God's approval in the measure of what he has and not of what he has not. Exactly. What fruits do you have? Not, right? It's not what you didn't say. It's what you said. Exactly. In the, in the sense of what is it that we have? We can't make up. We can't speak and say, well, I have this if you, in fact, don't have it. You can say you do, but you don't. So what is it that you have? What do you have? Hmm. You're like, well, I have lots of properties in it. No. No. What is it? What, I what, what, what is it? Hmm. No, no, no. It couldn't be. It couldn't be. It couldn't be faith. It couldn't be trust. It couldn't he be belief. And the truth, the way, the life. No, no, no. I have to have uh, uh, everything but that. I have to have everything but that. And then I'll be okay. No, you're just playing this. You're playing, you're playing, you know, getting your head chopped off. That's what you're playing. But you call it advancement because it's just a, it's just a ritual and then you advance. Because no one would actually die professing that Jesus Christ was the truth, the way, and the life. Unless you are, unless you, that was your conviction in the sense of your, the certainty you had because you know it in your heart. Right? And people say, well, no man died for a lie. Well, knowing that it was a lie, for example. If you know that there's a lie, that you, some, you know, like, a uh, lie, uh, do I believe it? And the guy's like, do you really believe that lie? And the guy's like, I will kill you if you do. He's like, ah, okay, I don't. But if the guy didn't know it was a lie and he believed it, then he would probably die for it. But that's called being deceived. So which one are you? Or do you die because you know that there's nothing to gain of the flesh? And you say, he forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. They will kill your flesh, but they cannot take that which God has given to you, meaning his life and his spirit, if you are kneeling down about to receive the blade,
because of your belief, your faith in what Christ already did. You have to do. You don't have to get up and smash this other person to prove somehow that you were right. No. Right of what? God knows our heart, and justice is fulfilled. No justice of man would ever make things right. Never. Only torment and further division does it fulfill, manifest through the manipulative ways of Satan and constant rebellion. That's why the queen has to remind her servants who are her servants and who's in charge. No. Lose your life in the flesh and gain it in it for eternity. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. Who knew? We'll end it there.